Hello, welcome to another video in, in two days. It's an amazing, amazing, even for me. Well, there was a time when I made a video of it, regardless. Just as a clarification, the intended audience of this video is mostly Christians, but it, I think there'll be something for everybody, but I'm thinking primarily of Christians in this video. I was on Instagram yesterday, as you do, and I saw a lot of people celebrating, oh gosh, celebrating Kamala Harris as the first uh, female black POC of Indian descent to become a vice president elect. Quick note, she's not yet because it wasn't certified yet. There's still legal battles, what, yada, 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 whatever. And Christians kneeling in front of the TV with tears in their eyes, so happy about representation. Now I can tell my children, my my girls, that they can they can be anything. Wow. Spare us with that kind of crap. <laughs> okay. What a bunch of hypocritical, idolatrous crap that is. Hypocritical for this reason. When it is a Republican who is the first ever to do something, nobody cares. Condoleezza Rice, okay? Let me get the, the facts straight. Condoleezza Rice was the first female African-American or person of color, whatever you want to say, Secretary of State of the United States. Yeah? And he was the first woman to serve as National Security Advisor. But the people on the left hate her because she served under George W. Bush, a Republican. Okay, what about Nikki Haley, for example? Nikki Haley was the United States ambassador to, to, to uh, the United Nations, that horrendous organization that should be disbanded and destroyed and demolished. She was the first female government of South Carolina, but he was, she was also the, the, the second person of Indian descent to become a governor in the United States. The first person being a Republican too, a man, but still, she was the first Asian American female government. She was the first Indian American in any, she first, yeah, first ever Indian American in any presidential cabinet and a woman. Nobody cares. Where is your representation, your, your, your worshippers of representation? What about Kellyanne Co Conway? Kellyanne Conway, she was the first campaign manager to run a successful presidential campaign. Let me see if that, that was right. Yes, she was the first female campaign manager to run a successful US presidential campaign. People hate her. People hate her so much, so much, that because her husband disagrees with her pol politically, people wished that their marriage would fall apart. What is this? What about Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who was the third, the third female, third ever female? Uh, gosh, what was the what is it called? The, the one again, White House press secretary. Okay, and she did it in spite of the attacks. And maybe she said things that were defending Trump that maybe were not one hundred percent true or whatever. Whatever. First female. Don't get me started on Kamala Harris saying stuff that is not true and being the fakest, the fake, one of the fakest people ever in the history of the world. Maybe not. I'm exaggerating a little bit. You, you who worship and and cry when Kamala Harris gets elected to vice vice president, and you complain that Sarah Huckabee Sanders said things not true. Give me a break, you hypocrite. Just. Look at yourself in the mirror, okay? It, it, it spare us with this stuff about representation. Back to Huck, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the third ever female press, White House press secretary, okay? And she did it well, while having children, while having a family. And she got attacked by her looks. <laughs> she, granted, she doesn't have a very symmetrical face, and I don't understand, I don't know why, but the people who claim themselves to be feminists and and claim that oh men are objectifying women and blah, 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 and all this bull crap you come here and attack a woman for her looks just because she serves the president you don't like and now you want to cry in front of the tv because you have representation on kamala harris 
give me a break, okay? That's the reason people voted for Donald Trump. Do you understand? People people can see right through your your <laughs> that was close <laughs> right through your hypocritical hypocritical lies. Do you understand? Enough. It it's shameful. I look at it and I'm like, what a shame. It's fine. It's fine for you to celebrate a woman who aligns politically with you and not celebrate the ones that don't. But at least be honest about it. Don't go like, female representation, when you don't care about the other women who were represented in many other offices, important offices, just because they are not, they don't align with your political whatever crap. Spare me. You spare the world from that kind of crap. It is dumb. Okay, I'm going again to that. It's so dumb, and the way you show it is dumb, all right? That's a joke. It's from a Brazilian video. That's why Luis was laughing in the other video. Anyway, but it is dumb, okay? Now, it, I, I, I can't, I, I lost my train of thought already. It's fine. Again, it's fine for you to celebrate someone you align politically, but don't come with this dumbness, virtual signaling, f female representation, okay? And I was like, well, but Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Kelly Young, Con Conway and whatever, Condoleezza Rice and Nikki Haley, they weren't elected, well, Nikki Haley was elected to be governor, but they weren't elected, you know, Kamala Harris, excuse me, Kamala Harris wasn't elected either, okay? She had 1% of the intention of votes in the primary, in the Democratic primary and she she left the race because she knew she was not going to win if she were the presidential candidate well maybe she would still win because the votes are not for biden are against trump really she wasn't elected spare me with this kind of crap you know she wasn't elected she wouldn't be elected do, do you it's it's unbelievable the hypocrisy is is like it's beyond the charts. At least believe in something and be consistent. Like Bernie Sanders, he's wrong. He's morally wrong. He's a disaster, but he's honest, <laughs> okay? He's not lying. I'll ban fracking, I'm not gonna ban fracking. I'll do this, I'll do that. No, no, no. He believes in stuff and he's honest. At least he's honest. You people with your virtual signaling and your crying because female representation, give me a break. And if you are a Christian, and if you're a Christian and you say things like, now my daughter knows, that she can be anything. I'm a parent. And understand. Uh, understand what I'm going to do now. I don't say this lightly. The worst thing as a parent is when someone tells you that you're not being a parent properly. And I'm about to tell you that. You're failing as a parent. You're failing as a parent, as a Christian parent. You're failing so bad as a Christian parent. If your kid's hopes and dreams and identity comes from the world and it doesn't come from the word of God, do you understand? It's not because now there's a vice president, maybe potentially elect, who is the first female Indian American descendant of POC, whatnot. Now my daughter knows that she can be anything. If that's how you're teaching your children, you are failing as a parent. And I'm saying this not to judge you, but to please wake up. Your kids should know their identity from what God tells them who they are, from what the Bible says, from what God says who they are, not from what the world says who they are. Just imagine the church martyrs that were burned and tortured and killed because they wouldn't deny the name of Jesus, because they were going counterculture, they were going against everything the culture does, just for people in our church today. And I saw pastors doing that with their kids worshiping in front of the TV with crying, bawling, because, oh my gosh, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, a, a God hater a lover of abortion, someone who doesn't have any biblical morals. I wish my kids would never look at her and think, and I have two girls, I want to be like her because that would be, I, I would have failed as a parent the day that happens. And you can come and tell me off for that. Imagine the church martyrs that went against culture and, and were burned and tortured and killed to go against the culture, just now to have pastors and church and, and Christians so, self proclaimed Christians to worship the culture and think, oh, my kids now can finally be something because there is representation. Representation is an idol that you're worshiping and you should burn that down and take it down and cut it in half 
Stop worshiping idols. Stop worshiping idols. Stop being fake. Stop being a hypocrite. And stop worshiping idols. It's, it's, I feel shame for you. I look at it and I'm like, it's such, it's, it's so shameful. It's so shameful. And it makes me sad. It makes me sad to see pastors, church leaders, indulging in this kind of BS. Have enough for today. <laughs> see you next time.